Now, this is how we can write on a lock screen using your Android. Let's get into it. So there are a few things which you might mean by this. First of all, when you open up the settings of your Android device and you can go to the lock screen section, you're going to be able to find that if you tap on edit the lock screen, you have the ability to add contact information. So essentially, you have the option to write something on the lock screen like your name or whatever message you want to be shown there. So you have an example here that you can show information such as your phone number or email address on the lock screen so you can be contacted if you lose your phone. So that's like one option or one possibility right there. Naturally, if you, for instance, just want to write a quick note on, on the on the lock screen, well, there are some options, like you can easily just take a screenshot and then you can just write something on it, but it's not really that practical. And also, if you really want to, you can add a like a quick note app or a widget on the lock screen, which allows you to just start typing your notes quickly right there. So you can change the app, which you can access directly from the lock screen to something more useful. So you can always just have quick access to your notes taking or, you know, you can easily just write something. So that's like another approach. But if you have seen somewhere on the internet, well, some devices like the Samsung Note or Galaxy devices, which are or come included with the S Pen from Samsung, well, these technically work when you just take out the pen and you don't even have to unlock the iPhone or, I mean, sorry, the phone, and you can just start writing on that screen directly on the lock screen and you end up with a, with a note, which you can quickly just draw and type on the locked screen and it works it might be a nice feature but i guess you your your like phone and needs to support it and you need to have access to that pen otherwise you can only stick with the options which i've shown you before but yeah that's basically it from me i honestly hope that i can help you with this if you found this tutorial helpful hit the thumbs up subscribe below and i'm gonna catch you in the next tutorial